Shawai heads have been around since the early 19th century, with patterns dating back to the 1850s. Over the years, numerous innovations have shaped their design, resulting in the wide variety available today. Each type distinguishable by advancements in functionality, aesthetics, or a combination of both. I've always been a bit fascinated by my very own shower, especially with the way it produces its different spray patterns. A fascination that has almost cost me my phone once or twice. A multifunctional shower head allows you to switch between different spray patterns by rotating the lever or dial. Internally, it uses a simple mechanical system to control how water flows through the different nozzle sections. And in this video, we'll be peeling off the many layers to see what is hidden inside, understand its functioning and why it is designed the way it is. The multifunctional shower head, like many other shower heads out there, also come with added functionalities like an on and off button and a water temperature regulator. But to avoid all these added layers of complexity, we are going to be dealing here with a simple multifunctional shower head like mine. I was initially going to take my own shower head apart to better understand this and realizing how impossible it actually is to open some of these shower heads without breaking, I decided it wasn't worth the risk. Fortunately enough, I found one I could actually open without fear of permanent damage. The next thing I needed was a TKD model to ease the presentation of my findings. And for that, I want to say a huge thank you to Axel Vision who actually gave his blessing for his detailed rigid really design to be used in the animations of this video. Let's actually kick off this breakdown with the key components that make up a multifunctional shower head and their roles. Firstly, we have the outer spray plate. This is the visible front part of the shower head where water sprays out. It contains multiple small nozzles arranged in different zones for different spray effects. Some nozzles are meant for a wide spray, while others are meant for high pressure, misting, or massage effects. Next, we have the internal diverter plate or the rotating water distributor. This is a disc inside the shower head that controls where the water flows. In most of the multifunctional shower heads I've seen so far, it's usually placed at the back. It has small holes or channels that align with different nozzle sections. And when you rotate the lever, it actually moves, opening and closing specific nozzle zones. Next, we have the nozzle chambers, which are separate water pathways that lead to the different groups of nozzles on the spray plate. They ensure that only certain zones receive water at a time, depending on the selected mode. Next, we have the flexible diaphragm, which is useful for pulsating spray. This is just a small rubber or silicone valve that moves back and forth when water flows through it. It creates a massage effect by pulsing the water pressure. Next, we have the lever or dial, which is basically a user control. It's the external switch that you turn in order to change the spray modes. It's connected to the diverter plate, which moves inside when rotated. So now that we know these different parts, how exactly does the shower head change your spray pattern? Well, it happens like this. When you turn the lever, you're actually rotating the diverter plate inside, which changes where the water flows. Here's what actually happens for each spray mode. For the full body spray mode, you have the diverter plate fully open, allowing water to flow through all the nozzle sections, such that all the nozzle chambers actually receive water. And the overall effect is a balanced full coverage spray, which is perfect for having regular showers. Now for the massage spray or the pulsating water jets, the diverter plate directs water only to the massage nozzles. As water is directed to these massage nozzles, the diaphragm valve starts moving, creating pulses. And the overall effect is water that sprays in a rhythmic pulsating pattern providing a massaging effect. Now for the mid spray pattern, the diverter plate is positioned in such a way as to block the larger nozzles, forcing water through tiny holes. Water is thus dispersed widely and finely. The overall effect is a soft, low pressure mist, which is ideal for cooling or gentle rinsing. Next, we have the jet spray pattern. The diverter plate is positioned in such a way as to open only the central narrow nozzles resulting in small amounts of water being forced through fewer openings, increasing the pressure. The overall effect is a powerful targeted water jet useful for rinsing off soap or shampoo quickly. And finally, we have the combination spray, otherwise known as the mixed pattern. In this pattern, the diverter plate position partially opens two nozzle sections at the same time, causing water to flow through both wide spray and pulsating jets. The overall effect is a mix of wide coverage and some pressure variations, offering a balanced experience. So detail here is what happens. Water enters the shower head from the pipe through the base. The water reaches the diverter plate which decides where it flows. Turning the lever rotates the diverter plate to align with different nozzle sections. Water is thus directed to specific nozzle chambers activating the chosen spray pattern. If the massage mode is selected for example, the diaphragm starts vibrating creating pulses. If the mist mode is selected, the water diffuses through tiny holes. If the jet mode is selected, 
the water is concentrated into narrow streams. And it is worth noting that not all shower heads must have all the five functions. I hope you're leaving the video with a better understanding of how multifunctional shower heads actually function and what they look like inside. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. It's been your boy Clovet and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.